Hi everyone, my name is Hasib. I'm an engineer here at Langfuse. And today is a very exciting day for us because today we are launching the new JavaScript TypeScript SDK. And to be honest with you, it was about time because our Python users for a long time had the benefit of using the Observe Decorator. The Observe Decorator was a higher level abstraction that allowed them to trace any of their existing functions um, by simply adding the Observe Decorator to it. And they would have gotten duration tracking, input output tracking, and automatic context management out of the box. This meant that if they would have opened a new span inside the function body of the decorated function, it would have been automatically nested correctly. Now, our JS and TS users had a tougher time to maintain context across the applications because they only had a lower level API available to them. They would have needed to open traces manually and use the returned clients in order to manage the nesting. So you see here that we are creating a trace by calling language trace, and then we need to call trace or generation to nest the generation under the trace. And if we would have nested another observation underneath it, we would have needed to call the specific methods on that specific client. This meant that if nesting and instrumentation is spread across the application, one had to pass around the reference to that object in order to manage the nesting correctly. We now have great news for our TypeScript users. With the new TypeScript SDK v4, we have three higher level methods available in order to trace and instrument your application. The first one is the context manager. You can use start active observation in order to simply pass a callback to it and have automatic duration tracking and context management out of the box available. You can see here that we are starting active observation. We have wrapped around some kind of LLM operation that we're doing here. And within the callback, we are updating the existing span with the span.update method. And the span is being passed into the callback as an argument. And we could have also used the update active observation and update active trace methods in order to simply update the currently active trace observation. You can also use the observe wrapper. The observe wrapper is pretty much analog to the observe decorator that we have in Python. However, we're not using a decorator pattern here, but simply a wrapping of existing functions. Additionally to tracking the duration of the function execution and having automatic context management, we are also tracing the inputs and outputs of that observed function. For more advanced use cases, you can also use the start observation method, which gives you the most low level control about the full span lifecycle. Let me now show you how the JS SDK works in action. And for that, I will show you how our demo project is looking like on our website. We have an interactive demo on our website and we have a chatbot here. And that chatbot runs Next.js deployed on Vercel using the Vercelaya SDK. And we have now added instrumentation for that, such that we are getting the scores, we are getting the traces shown up in LangFuse. Let me show you first how the code behind that looks like. We are in our LangFuse docs repository in QA chatbot API handler. We are exposing the post function, which then the Next.js framework is then exposing as an endpoint. And we have declared a handler here that we have wrapped in the observed wrapper. We are passing the name option to it, and the name should be handle chatbot message. And we are configuring end on exit false, such that we are manually ending the observation, such that we can control that the observation is ended after the response has been streamed to the client and not when the stream begins. So let's take a look at how the handler looks like. And we see that inside the handler, we are passing the messages and doing our basic request logic. But we can now also use our higher level functions exposed by the new types of SDK to update the current active observation and the current active trace. Furthermore, on the top of our file, we have also declared that we are observing the prompt fetching that we're doing. So language also offers prompt management. And for fetching the prompt, 
we are also want to have a span available in length views, and for that we are simply observing the length views client prompt get method. Let's do an example execution and see how the trace looks like in length views. So I will ask now, how does the TypeScript start active observation function work? The agent now decides to do two true calls to first search the length docs and get a length overview before they synthesize the result. And we see we're getting a code snippet back. And the explanation is that it's a context manager style helper that automatically handles the lifecycle of an observation and the open telemetry context underneath it. Great. Let's take a look now at the length demo project, whether we see a new trace coming in. And indeed, we see a new trace with the input, how does the TypeScript start active observation function work, which is exactly what I've just typed in. Let's take a look at the trace, and we see that we have our handle chatbot message span. We have a span for fetching the languages prompt, and we also see that for the native Vercel AI SDK open telemetry instrumentation, we see the spans showing up here exactly at the right position as we have desired and also with the same richness of information as you would have expected. For example, for the last execution, we are getting token information, cost information, latency information, and also the input output that went into the LLM and was also returned from the LLM. Thanks. Let's wrap up here. So you see the new TypeScript SDK is a leap forward for our users. They can now use higher level abstractions in order to instrument the LLM app. It could be a context manager, it could be the observe wrapper, or it could be opening and closing manual observations to trace their LLM app. They can also use um, native instrumentation, such as from the Vercel AI SDK, the OpenAI SDK, which is supported by Langfus directly, or LangChain, which is also supported by Langfus directly. We are very excited about this change, and we can't wait to see what you're building out there. If you have any feedback, let us know on GitHub. And until then, thank you so much, and see you soon.